Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to do this pink, purple, and white cut crease using the Sample Beauty Equalizer 2 palette. If you'd like to see how I got this look, then keep on watching. Hi guys, first I'm going to go in with the Sample Beauty Equalizer 2 palette. And I'm going to pick this purple up and I'm going to begin to basically map out my new crease. As you see, I switched brushes because I, you know, figured this one was more precise than the other one. And here I am trying to get these sides to match. <clears throat> now I'm going to go in with this pink and I also use that purple like that lighter purple and I kind of mix those together and I begin to go ahead and actually blend these edges out And keep blending and keep blending. Now I'm going to go back in and I'm going to put that dark purple back on that crease because we want it to be darker towards the crease. And again, whatever you do to one eye, you must do to both. And seeing that this one was thicker on the edges, I didn't have to blend out too much or go back in too many times. And back again to put that color back and then blending it out again with those softer two colors. So about here my battery died and I ended up doing my crease offline. And I'm going to go over with this white and I'm going to set this uh, P. Louise base in number one blank canvas. And now I'm going to begin to make my own wing with that purple color. Now I'm going in with this gel cream from ColourPop and it's in the color Boots. And I'm going to put me like a liner right on top of that purple. And then I'm going to put it up top. Now mind you, I messed up a little bit on this, but I was able to go back in with that blank canvas and fix any mistakes I made. Now 
Now I'm going to go in with this J. LaRue White Diamond Pigment and I'm just going to brush that lightly on the top. I wish it was a way. I should have just turned down my camera just a little bit so you guys could see how beautiful this is. You can't see it on camera, but in person, it was beautiful. Now I'm going to go ahead and add some jewels to my eyes. I put some lashes on off camera, and I'm going to do this Touch and Soul uh, Primer Essence. Now I'm going in with the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer in the liquid. I think I like this. Now I'm going in with Laura Mercier Blurring Primer. And I'm just going to put that over my pores. I actually did like this combo. This was awesome. So now I'm going in with the Rare Beauty um, Foundation. And uh, what can I say? Mm, it was a little more uh, sometimes I can make these gold foundations work but in actuality I'm not neutral or gold it's just crazy uh, so I'm going to go on with this YSL All Hours foundation and I'm going to put it on top of this <laughs> and we're going to blend this together my ears are so dyke but the, um it's crazy how they, you know, I don't know. It's, my color is just so off. My chest is the color of the foundation. So I go by that. And see, this makes it a little dark. And with my contour, it'll all be great. So I did my contour off the camera. And that was the Juvia's Play Stick Foundation in Congo. And I'm going to go in with this. Uma Beauty Concealer, and I'm just going to lay that down as my uh, first concealer. Next, I'm going to go in with the Rare Beauty Concealer, and I'm not sure what color this is in, but I really do like this. I think it's in maybe, I don't know, three something, but I really like this. I like these two concealers together. I like the color of this one, and I like the fluidity of it um i like how it's so thin but the other one's thick and i still like that one too so them together it kind of um it's not too much you know and on my under eyes seems to keep, they get dry around this time of the year and this actually looked great on my under eyes i really really like this I like how easy it blended into um, my foundation. I just really, really like this. This combo was really, really nice. It's like um, the Rare Beauty kind of uh, thinned out the Uma Beauty just a little bit. And I really did like that. I liked how it blended in. It was so then I take that foundation sponge and I just went over the edges so they weren't so harsh. Now I'm going in with Too Faced in uh, multi-use sculpting concealer in the shade uh, Tan or Sand. I think it's sand. It's sand, right? Yeah. And sand. And I'm going to add that for a bit of a highlight. I just want it to be bright in this area. I 
see if somebody used a thinner line of concealer. And I think I'm gonna try that next time. Um, on my nose. Even though I go back in with, you know, something to carve it out, I still want to um, try something else. Now I'm gonna go in with the one size powder and I'm going to set under my eyes. And my camera's gonna die while I'm doing this. So I'm gonna do that off the camera and then I'm gonna come back. So now I'm back, I'm coming in with this Charlotte Tilsbury um, Micro Smooth Perfecting Setting Powder in number four. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna set the rest of my face. Now I'm going with this Morphe Continuous Mist because I was so, so needing it. It was so dry. Now I'm going in with this Becca Sunlit Bronzer in shade Maui Nights and I'm going to warm up my face. Now do you see how great this matches? Look at my hands to my face. Matter of fact, my hands is I are a little Oh, and this blush is the minted blush in Buried Away. I love this blush. I ordered another one, so it should be here this week. And I can just try out a new one. Now I'm just going to contour my nose. Using that same bronzer. Now I'm going in with the Charlotte Tilbury Air Blush Polish Finish Setting <laughs> Setting Spray, and I'm gonna spray my face. A little highlight for my corners. Now I'm going in with this Anastasia Beverly Hills I'm Breezy Highlight. Ooh, this is so 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 pretty. If you haven't bought this, y'all get it. Now I'm going in with the Fenty Kilowatt Highlighter in Chic Creek in The Girl Next Door. And this is Skitty Mascara. Um, I think Essence Mixes or it might be Wet n Wild. Man, I'm going to have to check because uh, I think it's uh, wet and wide. Now I'm going in with this ColourPop X Ellery. Um, the Ellery collab. And it's called Ellery. And I'm going to line my lips. Now I'm going in with Too Faced's Peachy Matte and Short Thing. And yeah, this is the look. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you got any things you want to see leave it down below don't forget to like comment and subscribe and see you later bye